Hello, I'm going to talk to you today about the Audius project, what it does and how you can use it. Many scripts are written around SED, AUK and other sort of one-liner tools. These are great until the config file changes, at which point they become very brittle. If new entries are added to a config file, it's possible for SED expressions to match the wrong one, or perhaps break the file unexpectedly. Instead, the Orgis library and tools can help you modify and parse files safely. It's a library that supports many different config file syntaxes, from any files all the way to complex ones such as auto-mounter files. It has an API that's consistent across many languages, and a command line tool that exposes the same. Orgis does this by turning configuration files into an in-memory tree structure. So we see etc hosts here is placed under slash files in memory, and beneath etc hosts entries and fields are parsed. So we see the one entry here represents the first entry in the hosts file, and fields within that entry, IP address and canonical host name, are represented as sub nodes of that tree. Each of these nodes then has a value, so we see the IP address has a value 127.0.0.1 and the canonical host name has the value localhost. Orgius has many different parsers. These transfer the file representation into a tree representation and back. Here are just a selection of them and on my Fedora 18 system this parses 813 individual files by default. The org tool command is the best way to get started with Orgius. It allows you to explore the tree, it allows you to test out expressions and also modify files. We see here we're listing the root of the Orgius tree, we have Orgius metadata and the files we mentioned earlier. We're able to print recursively the etc password file and specifically the root user beneath that. Orgius supports a path syntax that's based on XML's XPath. We see here we're printing out entries beneath etc password where the UID is zero and then the one in brackets prints out the first entry. The print command is printing these recursively so we see each of the individual fields and their values. Using org tool or the API we can also modify entries. So we see here the original fs tab entry and then we load up org tool and try and match it. So we match where the mount point is slash the root file system and we print out the option beneath that. The option field is defaults so we see that printed here. We then use the set command to change the option field to no a time. We then check the tree has changed, so we see the opt field again is now with no A time. When we run the save command in org tool, it transfers the tree format back to the file. And we exit. We now see that the FS tab has been updated, and most importantly in Orgius is that the white space and all other entries in the file have been untouched, so no change has been made to those. Orgius is a C library, but we have bindings for many other languages. Here we see a Ruby example, where we loop through each of the mount points in FS tab, and we print out a line for each one. We then make the same change we did on the previous slide, and save. If you're a Puppet user, you may already have seen the Orgius resource type. This maps onto the API, and in this example we're creating a new NFS export. We use the same set commands we would do in org tool, and we set various nodes and subnodes beneath the entry. Orgius is a library, so it's used in a number of other projects. libguestfs allows you to view and modify virtual machine images. This exposes the Orgius API to you, so you can make controlled edits to a configuration file within a VM through libguestfs. 
Vert Tools also uses Algeus to read and modify FS tab entries when doing physical to virtual migrations. You can find out more about the Algeus project at algeus.net and we also have a mailing list and IRC channel on Freenode, hash Algeus, if you want to find out more or discuss it.